It's 10.30 a.m. in Dubai, and I'm about to have breakfast with Steven Seagal in this luxury hotel. I had no idea what to expect. All I had was this message from somebody who claimed to be Steven's assistant. Hello, we're meeting a friend for breakfast here. But as I searched through the entire hotel, the man was nowhere to be found. <laughs> you see him? Maybe this was all just a scam to kidnap me. Where is he? Luckily, I brought my brother Oliver along as my bodyguard. Maybe we should go inside and look. I think he would meet us in the reception. That's when a security guard suddenly approached us. For Mr. Seagal? Yes. Turns out, Steven Seagal eats breakfast in his private suite. And this man was gonna escort us all the way up. Good morning. And there he was, the martial arts legend, Steven Seagal. Known for breaking the bones of men and the hearts of women. This was a dream come true, because I used to make my own action movies as a kid. And now I was gonna spend a full day eating, training and learning from Steven Seagal himself. Ooh. Finishing off with a five-star dinner in the world's tallest building. Plus, he's gonna teach Oliver the same kick he taught Anderson Silva and Leota Machida. This is good stuff. Get ready to see Steven Seagal like you've never seen him before. <laughs> so, I would show some of the technique in the movies, but most of the real, what we call Uraden, uh -huh. we kept secret, you know, mm -hmm. until now. But then you knew you try to talk to people and they'll go, well, you know, this stuff that you really do, it's so dangerous. How many times can you rip someone's throat out in a practice? <laughs> Sir, we don't rip out your throat. We don't rip out your eyes. Just as in karate, we don't blow out your skull. You stopped yeah. before. Yeah. But the, 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 the difference is we're very careful who we teach this to. Mm. Turns out Sensei Seagal had mastered a secret style of jujutsu while residing in Japan. This is what the samurai warriors used on the battlefield. But it's the complete opposite of modern jujutsu. Because rule number one is to avoid the ground. When people say all fights end up on the ground, they are incorrect. 90% of the fights that I know end standing up mm. with one person going horizontal. They knew if they went to the ground, they were dead because they were on the battlefield. Right. We don't want to dive down on the ground. And just as much time as those guys spend trying to dive for your legs and get you, yeah. we spend just as much time cutting your head off or knocking you out or ripping your eyes out or ripping right. your throat out or severing your brainstem when you go down there because your head and your neck will be vulnerable. I don't care who you are, if you know what we know. Yeah. And then I'll show you some of that stuff. So, wow. good morning, brother. How are you? This is amazing. Is this what a Hollywood superstar eats on a daily basis? <laughs> This is what Japanese would eat every day. This is what a samurai would eat. As the first Westerner to run a dojo in Japan, Sensei Seagal faced lots of adversity, including dojo yaburi, life or death challenges from rival martial arts schools. There are certain very famous people who challenged me. And I said, there'll be no money involved, come with no cameras, no one's gonna see it, and there are no rules. No. Did anyone accept? No. No. Of course not. Great, real samurai says, when I wake up in the morning, I am prepared to die. When I go into battle, I visualize myself as already being dead. Yeah, this is coming. And just like that, it was time to head to the dojo. But first, I wanted to talk to this guy. What is it like to be Steven Seagal's practice dummy? Uh, <laughs> is it a lot of pain? Yeah, yeah, a lot of pain. Yes. Okay. This is my job, kind of, you know? <laughs> it's a very unusual job. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited. Let's have fun. I think you will uh, taste this too. You think? <laughs> <laughs> and with those words, we left the hotel and drove about 20 minutes to an amazing mixed martial arts wow, facility. This place is huge. Where the top floor had been reserved just for us. It was time to finally feel the power of Steven Seagal. Yeah. This kind of a strike is. Ooh! Just like this is my fighting pose. Yeah. And from here, I might do this. Mm. I've already killed you, but I have this now. Ah. From here, I have this. From here, come around here, brother. And look here. We break it. Ah. 
This is snap off. And I can't move. And then from here, I can move them around from mm -hmm. here. This is good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can also walk him around like this. Yep. Come down to here like this. Mm. Punches and I throw him. Yeah. If he doesn't go, I snap his arm off. And on the street, yeah. People normally will not punch you like this. Right. They normally won't punch you like this. They'll punch you like this. Haymaker. Right? Kind That's of, right. Yeah. So as he comes, you'll notice something very different. Uh huh. This in sword. It's called Uke Nagash. So when the sword comes down, I'll show you yep. him. You see the sword? Yep. This is a sword. Ah. So this is when I suddenly realized what we were actually practicing. Because up until this point, I thought he was just showing us random brutal techniques. But it turns out these movements were meant to be used with a sword. Because if a samurai lost his weapon on the battlefield, he could use the exact same movement patterns with his empty hands. Kicking. Yes. Downstairs, I wish you were there. But these guys said, wow, I know the guys that you talked that front kick to. No one could see it. Hmm. No one can see it because it's different. For example, if you're here yeah. and I wind up and do a big kick, yeah. you'll see it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But what I try to do, you know, is a kick where you don't see it. Ah. It's more like a spear. Just like the arms could be used as swords, the legs can be used as spears. Just like the samurai. Yeah, just don't lift your knee. Mm. Put your foot straight there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Different, isn't so it? So from the hip more, yes. more than the knee. And don't push him. Cut him. Yeah, yeah, because you don't Did show... Did you see the anything. light go on when you got it? Yeah, yeah, he got it. <laughs> yeah. And I imagine like if I keep my posture the same, yeah. you won't see anything. Yeah, you don't oh. lift up like this spear. We have another technique that comes from sword. Yep. Wow. When the strike comes, yeah. this is the sword. And I'm hitting here, here, mm. or here. Yeah. With this side or this side, it doesn't matter. So when I punch, mm. I'm not doing this no I'm yeah you feel the difference yes so he's doing this yes, yes. I'm doing this Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah you can't tell when you're looking it's no. way different when you feel it <laughs> but it, it, it reminds me of the kick because the kick is also there's no telegraph you right. can't really see it until right. it's too late right. mm. from the yeah. sword stuff as he comes this is the tentochi this is heaven and earth but the old style would be that strike. Or we're striking, planting on the foot, grabbing the throat, striking with this. Yeah. Can you try that on Oliver so he can feel it? Because it, it doesn't matter how you come <laughs> from here. Yeah. I have you here, yeah. here, here. Yeah. You can feel yeah. what would happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to try that in your next fight. Would that even be legal? Some of it's not legal. Yeah, no, that's exactly. the thing. You can't do the finger stuff either. You can supposedly if you have all of them. Yeah, yeah. All of them are legal, but they never do it. No. No. Let's take that's a true. break. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you have to fight somebody to end it immediately, but in the case that you can't end it immediately, you never let him fight his style. Right. Yes. You always will break his rhythm yes. and his timing so that he can't fight his style. We teach all the beginners to find a rhythm, to find a certain rhythm. But then at some point you need to learn how to break the rhythm. Mm -hmm. So you don't... You break their rhythm. Yeah, yeah. And not let them break your rhythm. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you're the aggressor, it's pretty hard for them to break your rhythm. In our style, we are completely offensive, mm. completely aggressive. We don't wait and watch and try to get him tired. We don't do any of that. What do you think about that as a pro fighter, Oliver? Because you usually want to feel your opponent out. I think uh, it's dangerous to start to feel the other guy out. because it is. then, he, Yeah, because then he can impose his rhythm on yes. you before you and get the chance to... And he gets to attack to, first. Yes. And really, in real life, if you want to end it immediately, you have to attack first. Yeah. 
That's better. How about in the eyes of the law? If you look like uh, the aggressor... I don't want to sound terrible because... Well, you're above I the law. I used to be a police <laughs> officer. Oh yeah, that's true. But I don't care no. about the law. No. If I have to fight, I don't care about the law. Yeah. I care about ending it quick. Because, for example, you go to punch, when your punch comes... Yes. If I do this, a lot of guys do this. This is yeah. not real karate. Yes. Real karate would be more like this. Mm. Okay? But when you get really good, yes. it would be like this. All right. That's yes. like the spear. It's like your yeah, kick. This is square. I'm sorry. This is yes. square. This is triangle. And this is circle. Mm. Yeah, exactly. They would always say hands, knees, elbows, feet, and dagger. So this. Yes. We're here. Mm. We do this a lot. Mm. And this would actually be the dagger that a samurai would. That's right. Yeah. And I'm coming in here and in here. Mm. Once in a while, we'll come in here. And you yeah. can feel that, right? I, I mean, can. This, this, yeah. because I train it every day. Yeah. This, you know, is very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you can imagine if I do that in your throat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Right yeah. in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't ready, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's so if he comes easy. with this wild one on the side, yeah. I'll cut the hole here and come in the throat. Yeah, that's a throat strike. One of the worst strikes I've seen. Two children fighting in a karate tournament. Yeah. Punch in the throat. She spit her mouthpiece out, walked two steps, and then just collapsed. Did she die or? No, uh, she was carried out on a stretcher. Yeah. Stretcher, yeah. Uh, and it was just. But this, that's what this, we do. Yeah. This we, everything we do is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will sever the brainstem. Mm. Mm. You will sever the brainstem. Mm. That's what happens. Mm. That's why when people like, for example, when you come to grab my leg, I'll hit you in the eyes like this on the way down. Yeah. As you come here, I'll hit you here. By the time you're down here, look what's exposed. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's yeah. your brainstem. Yeah. I don't care who you are. You're dead. Yeah. The only takedowns that we will do yeah. that we think are nicer stuff. Oh, <laughs> 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 we'll take people down uh, like this. What is your method for power generation? Because I've heard so many different ways of generating power. I would practice. Pra yeah, of course. Practice. <laughs> yeah. And meditation. Oh, okay. Mm. And Zen. How does meditation and Zen then we're going to have to. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah let's mm -hmm. sit down. One of my masters once said. Tentochi no Mazdari, which means real buge is like lightning. It is the culmination between energy between heaven and earth and an explosion when they meet. That's beautiful. Chi <laughs> and ki is flowing through you. Ah. So it's not what I would call relaxation. It's it's that it's the lightning already coursing through mm -hmm. your body. It's there. That electricity is already coming out of your hands into your mm -hmm. eyes, you know? Mm -hmm. What was it in Musashi that Mu said? Miyamoto yeah. Musashi said, yeah. make your everyday stance your fighting stance. Make your fighting stance your everyday stance. What did you just see? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You'll see me standing like this all the time. Yeah. One great samurai once said, when a tiger dies, even though we have appreciated him in life, we take his pelt and we hang it on the wall, and that's what he's remembered by, his pelt. Mm. When a real warrior dies, he has to be remembered by what he did in life. His technique, his waza, his ability and desire to teach, mm. and what he left his students, and what he left the world. The value of karate is of what it does to you as a human being and changing you as a human being understanding that the development of the physical man and the perfection of the spiritual self are the same and that in doing these things simultaneously we learn first and foremost how to make the world a better place and help yeah. others that is what we call a legacy. Yes. And it's another reason why I'm doing this interview. Yeah. Because in America, you have guys like Gene LaBelle and Bob Wall, and these people 
who every time their mouth opened, they were lying. Really? And they tell those guys. See, this is the sad thing about America. You can destroy someone's life, yeah. their legacy, their reputation just by making up lies. As soon as I spoke the truth about certain things that are happening in the world, yeah. a huge campaign on a secret, very top secret level yeah. was mounted. 50 people were paid to say all kinds of things about me uh, to destroy me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm not going to put up with that. No. So I just left. Mm. But the shame about the tiger and the way the tiger dies is like one samurai said, we look at his pelt on the wall and we think, wow, it's beautiful. But when a great warrior or a great samurai dies, he has a real legacy. And people who have real ethics and morals and decency, they admire the people that have technique and have history and have teachers, have teachers, yeah. and they would never try to tarnish what they are. No. In America, it's different. Yeah. They don't care. Where I came from, if you did that, somebody will come and kill you the next day. Yeah. They'll come to your dojo or your house and say, it's on right now. Yeah. One of us is going to live and yeah. one of us is going to die. Yeah. Or one of us is going to be unconscious and maybe he'll live and maybe he won't. I don't care. Yeah. That's how it was. Yeah. That's how I was raised. Yeah. Not in America. Hmm. It's the land of the mouth. Mm. There are people who say, I did this and I did this and I did that. And I studied all these martial arts. But none of them can tell you the names of their teachers. Or where they study. None of them. Yeah. Everything is in the teacher. Everything. Even Lord Buddha said there would be no Guru without the Buddha. There would be no Buddha without the Buddha. Uh, it's the same in Zen. It's the yeah. same thing. Your spiritual side is very inspiring to me. Like, uh, I didn't know that before about the Zen and everything. So. Yeah, I am a, a Lama. I'm a Tupu. I'm a Rinpoche. And I have studied Buddhism and Zen my whole life. And I think that shows like in, in the in the person even when you do like martial arts and stuff. Like the way you carry yourself somehow. I think it's different. It's such a different when I'm thinking about some of the fighters that I train with that have no spirituality in them at all. And the ones that come from a more traditional background. You see the way they carry themselves is way different. Very perceptive. <laughs> yeah. This is this is, you know, 60 years of yeah. stuff. There's only so much I can remember and so much I can give you in one day. But In the next video, I receive an amazing gift from Sensei Seagal. Plus, we learn his invisible punch, an incredible kick defense, and the truth about Bruce Lee. Like any other human being, he was human. You don't want to miss this. Okay. <laughs> you alright?